they um, have it so that you can donate uh, monthly instead of all at once. So if you don't have all the money now, but you know you want to give a large amount, you can do it that way. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Um, thank you for um, any donations that you can give. And thank you for supporting John Hopkins uh, Children's Center through Extra Life. Enjoy the stream. This year, I'm participating in Extra Life to raise money for Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Why? Because they saved my daughter's life two times. The first time was just within a few days of her being born. Um, they found out that she had um, something wrong with her intestines and they did a life-saving surgery. The second time was when she was two years old. And again, an um, intestinal issue that they found and uh, with a quick and easy surgery, uh, they were able to uh, fix her up and save her life once again. Um, she had the, the same problem that she had, actually was uh, what killed one of the Bee Gees. Um, so it's one of those things that if, if left undiagnosed, um, it just presents as so many other things. And so, you know, it was great that the doctors they were able to figure out what it was and give her the surgery that she needed. So any amount that you can give will help because any amount will help Johns Hopkins be able to have um, better facilities or provide for people that can't afford it on their own. Um, I do have um, rewards for higher donation amounts, which you can see on the Extra Life page, but um, just anything you give uh, would be really helpful. And also, um, they um, have it so that you can donate uh, monthly instead of all at once. So if you don't have all the money now, but you know you want to give a large amount, you can do it that way. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Um, thank you for um, any donations that you can give. And thank you for supporting John Hopkins uh, Children's Center through Extra Life. Enjoy the stream. So, uh, here we are. Eric plays Go! Go! Nippon! My first trip to Japan, Session 3. <coughs> um, not feeling very well um, today. I either have really, really horrible allergies or the beginnings of a cold, which is um, unfortunate. Um, same as usual when I play at this time, um, there's a big chance that I could get pulled away at any moment. Um, but that's okay. Um, let's see. <coughs> um, yeah, I guess let's just uh, go ahead and get started with the game. Uh, just in case this is your first time watching me play Go Go Nippon, um, I'm kind of uh, acting out the different, uh, different voices and stuff just to make it a little more fun since this game is just a lot of... Um, talking, you know, there's not really any game element to it, so, um, you probably hear my daughter singing in the background. Alright. <coughs> anyway, <laughs> we're outside Whack Arnold's again. <coughs> the lottery is cool, but beyond that, I'm more and more impressed by all the things you can buy with Suica. <coughs> it's funny, so, I mentioned, um, yesterday that um, when it comes to going on the, um, metro, we actually have something like this in the D.C. area, Washington, D.C., um, where you can kind of load up this card, um, and then it deducts for, um, the metro, um, you also can use it on the, uh, for parking and stuff like that, and, um, it does use some kind of RFID or wireless technology, so you can use it through your wallet just like in the game. <coughs> However, the one thing that they can do in this game that you can't do with your smart card in DC is you can kind of use it everywhere. So in a way, um, is kind of an example of how in Japan they've had Google Pay or Apple Pay for a long, long time. I mean, I've been hearing about this stuff since um, there were only dumb phones, you know, really. <laughs> hmm, there's a weird vending machine over there. It has a Suica mark too. I see, so you can even buy drinks from vending machines with this. <clears throat> Isn't it amazing? As long as you have a charge on your Suica, you can make do, even if you forget the rest of your wallet. No kidding. <clears throat> I can't believe a single card will let you ride the trains and buy things, too. There are even some cell phones that have Suica built with them, as I just said. Huh? You mean, if you carry your phone around, you don't even need a wallet? Yeah, it's a convenient world. 
it is convenient, but also feels like Japan is such an advanced country. <clears throat> hmm? <laughs> that sound. Oh, oh no, Akira. Well, what is it? What's wrong? That's the sound of the train. We have to hurry, or we'll miss it. <laughs> huh? Ah, wait a minute. We don't have time for that. Come on, let's go. Ah! Ah. Ah, ah, ah. ah, we missed it. Look, I don't know why you're so upset. There's nothing to worry about. The next train will be here any minute. Huh? Really? Yes, look at the train schedule. The next train is five minutes from now. Ah, you're right. See? Here it is. Let's get on board. That was a fast five minutes. Uh, sure. <coughs> the train came exactly five minutes later on the dot. I'd heard Japanese rail system was amazing, but I didn't know it was this amazing. My country could learn a little from this. You know, before I kept saying that <coughs> our main character was kind of clueless for an American, but they do let you make a um, yen to euro uh, thing in the beginning when I picked yen to dollars. So it's entirely possible that uh, whoever wrote this is uh, European or something like that. Here we are. This is, you mean, the place we're exploring today is... That's right, we're in Akihabara. Akihabara! Akihabara is like the holy land for anime and manga fans. Which is funny, because I picked it for video games. I did not know it was so big for anime and manga. <clears throat> which I haven't been as into as I was um, when I was in middle school. But I do still see uh, stuff here and there if people recommend good stuff. <coughs> That's right, this is... Hmm? That thing over there. Is that a maid? Whoa, and there's one over there. And over there, too. The internet said I could meet maids in Akihabara, but I never thought there would be so many. <clears throat> ah, Yoroshiko Onegaishimasu. A ritual Japanese introduction. So this part seems similar to what the <clears throat> what the merchant said yesterday in the um, konbini. So I guess part of this is like a hello, and then you're adding different things onto it to change the meaning slightly. <clears throat> huh? Um. She handed it over, so I took it without thinking. If it's in the palm of my hand, a tissue pack? Was she giving this to me? Wow, wait a minute. Maybe that maid girl is interested in me? Okay. Do I restrain myself from making fun of this guy for getting a pack of tissues? I'm thinking the girl's interested rather than the opposite. <clears throat> That's okay, we'll keep it classy for now. <clears throat> Sorry to bust your bubble, but she's just giving that to you as free advertising. Huh? Advertising? Free? This? Yeah. Ah, now that she mentions it, she is giving them to everyone. I guess I'm not really special at all. What? Nothing. Were well, you thinking she gave it to you for some special reason or something? <laughs> I like the way they drew this girl's face. Huh? What are you talking about? I wouldn't think that. I was totally thinking that. Hmm. I wonder about that. I, I, I really didn't. Hmm. A anyway, where are you going to take me now? I'm not sure. Why don't we just take a walk around the town first? <clears throat> okay. Let's go! <clears throat> <coughs> wow. This is... Yes. This is Akihabara's main promenade. There are buildings lined up on both sides. It seems so busy. <clears throat> Alright, so whether this dude's from Europe or America, he's just never been in a big city. Speaking of which, you don't smoke, do you? No, I don't. Why do you ask? Lately, more places in Tokyo are banning smoking on the streets. Now that's something I can get behind. Now, don't take me wrong if you're a smoker. <clears throat> you know... I think, hey, if you want to smoke, that's okay. 
But what sucks about the fact that they've banned smoking in most buildings in America, or at least where I happen to be, New York, Maryland, D.C., Florida, um, is that everyone just ends up smoking right outside the building, and so as you leave, you're just hit with a smoke, and as someone that has really, really bad allergies, especially to um, cigar and cigarette products, that really sucks. You know, I'd, I'd wish there'd be kind of like some room, not an area, because when there was a smoking area in restaurants, it used to just circulate through the whole place and give me allergies anyway, but if there was like some little area, especially because I think it sucks if you're a smoker, you have to be outside when you're up north where it snows. Um, Florida kind of doesn't really matter as much, or Hawaii or whatever, but... <clears throat> Um, so that's a bummer. But anyway, so they're banning smoke in the streets. Chiyoda District, of which Akihabara is a part, is one of those. If they find you smoking out here, you could get a fine, so I just figured I'd check. I see. It's that way in America and Europe, too. More and more parts are cracking down on smoking. Again, not not outside. Maybe in Europe. Maybe in Europe. In America, the only place outside I've seen restrictions is um, uh, parks, like playgrounds and stuff. Places where there's little kids. That's true. Hmm. Anyway, now that I look at it, nearly all the stores here are electronic stores. Which is why I want to go to Akihabara to see the uh, video games and stuff. That's amazing. There really are a lot of electronic stores. <clears throat> That's why they call Akihabara the electric town. Oh, huh, I learned something. That's pretty cool. Electric town? But why are there so many electronic stores here in Akihabara? Do you know about Edo? Edo? I know about Edo. That was the original capital. <clears throat> that was the name of Tokyo back in the days of the samurai. The era was called the Edo period. Have you ever heard of it? The Edo period. Well, it's no big deal if you haven't. Anyway, there were lots of fires in Tokyo back in those days. This was an open section of land designed to deter the spread of fire. <clears throat> Around that time, they built a shrine to Akiba Dai Gongen. The god of fire protection. Now, that's that's a useful god to have if you have big cities. <clears throat> so the arrow is called Akiba no Harapa, the Akiba Plains, which was shortened to Akihabara, and eventually Akihabara, which was easier to say. Wow! Flash forward many, much later, and by the time World War II ended, the whole area was scorched earth. Uh, yeah, hopefully my dude's not American at this point. <laughs> but a lot of the radio parts stores began opening up in the area. From there, electronic stores began building up around them until it became a town full of household appliance stores. I see. Even Akihabara has a long history behind it. That's one of those things that, uh, I love that Eddie Izzard has a joke about how outside of America, things actually have a history to them. Because, you know, that's where people originated. People were living there for a long time. But even Electric Town image is changing these days. Lately, it's more of an otaku town. That's true. If I had to choose, I'd say that's more of my image of it, too. And the more we walk around, the more I see stores like that popping up. Whoa, that's got to be an anime store. As long as we're here, do you want to go in? Huh? Uh, are you sure? You want to go in, right? So why not? Phrasing? <laughs> <clears throat> well, if you don't mind. Oh. Just one moment, my daughter's calling.
<coughs> and so is Scarlet. <coughs> Why would I mind? Come on, let's go. Sure. Whoa, this store is full of anime goods. It's like a dream come true. Come on, stop making a scene. Whoa, I know this anime. Whoa, and look at these things. You have to stop acting so amazed at everything. That store is full of doujinshi. Doujinshi? You mean doujinshi doujinshi? I don't know what you mean, but probably the magazines they sell at the comics market. I knew it! Wow! I'd heard about it, but I never even thought there'd be actual stores to sell doujinshi. Hey, come on, let's go! I don't know. Yeah, I get it. Stop pulling my arm. Whoa, this is Joe Jinshi. I never thought they really existed. Whoa, they even have anime books. Wow, this is amazing. Hehe, <laughs> you really are hopeless. You're like a child. Hey, let's go to that floor. Huh? Well, wait a minute. That's... Huh? What is this place? This is... Adults only. No way. Th this is all... Come on, cut it out. Don't take me to a place like this, you idiot. S sorry. <clears throat> Come on, this is completely humiliating. Sorry, I didn't know it was there. But it was amazing to see it. <clears throat> All those books were, well, you know. Maybe if I have time, I'll come back here on the sly and have a closer look. This dude's a little sketchy. He's a bit sus. <laughs> she was mad, huh? Because he took her to this part of the store that she didn't want to go to. What? You were just thinking about coming back here on your own later, weren't you? <clears throat> what? I was not thinking that. Is this girl, like, psychic or something? <laughs> Are you sure? I'm sure. Mm, Akira's pretty sharp. Well, anyway, let's walk around the area a little more. Hold on, baby girl. There you go. Ah, sure. I know. Do you remember that big building in front of the station? It was built just a few years ago. There are a lot of restaurants inside it. Past that, there's a store you can try to make an afureko. Afureko? Uh, you know, um, afureko. After recording? Um, that doesn't make it any clearer. You know, after recording, after recording? What about that, don't you understand? Oh, no, <laughs> you can do it, that. <laughs> you know, when a voice actor does the voices for anime or something, you know... <laughs> oh, you mean post recording? Post recording? Nope. When a voice actor records a character's voice from anime? <laughs> it's called post recording in English or ADR. What is that? <laughs> really? Then why do we call it afureko? I couldn't tell you. What is there? <laughs> But it does go along with things like konbini, which are strangely shortened, shortened English words, which is kind of weird. <clears throat> do it in this way. Oh no, it doesn't make any sense. This is why I can't stand English. This is the thing is making my head worse now. I thought it's the wrong thing. It's not like it's English's fault, but telling her that would be like sticking my hand into hot oil. Anyway, you can do an apuraku there. Got it? That's actually pretty cool if there are... <laughs> or you can pretend to dub... Um, Stop going to this! Uh, oh my gosh. Alright. I think it's time to go have a uh, dinner. Nope. Let's see. Save. Then we'll come back and find out about Afurekos. What's that? Surgery. Oops. The second time. Oh, it's 